does this happen to you you start solving a lead code problem you get stuck you jump at the solution and you think you understand it but then again in the next problem the same thing happens you get stuck you look at the solution you understand it but again in the next problem the same vicious cycle continues and this is a loop in which student gets stuck in and basically they have to be dependent on the solution or the editorial to be able to solve any problem and whenever you're solving a easy problem it's okay but whenever you come across a medium problem a hard problem or a new problem you basically get dependent on the solution and the main issue for this is that you're just solving the problems but you're not building the logic in your head so for to be good at solving lead code problems or you know solving problems in an interview you need to be good at the logic behind the problem right so every problems there's a pattern and to get that pattern you need to have the logic in your mind you need to have that intuitive thinking in your mind without that you will just be stuck at every problem and you'll have to refer to the solution and you'll not be able to do it with yourself so how do you build the logic first what do you need to do for that let's understand that so you don't make this mistake and so that you actually become a master of problem solving and not just memorizing the solutions or the tutorials so the first thing that you need to do is give yourself time in solving the problem so i have mentioned this in a lot of my videos but the biggest mistake that you are making right now is you're not giving yourself enough time to come at the solution what people do they just open the problem and you know give it like 10 15 minutes and they're like okay i'm trying and i'm not able to do and they jump at the solution this is the biggest mistake if you keep on doing this you'll keep on getting stuck in the cycle and you'll never get that logic building you'll never get that intuitive thinking that you need to solve new problems or solve harder problems so what do you do whenever you come across a problem give yourself time struggle with the problem give yourself an hour couple of hours sit with the problem and even if you're not able to think of anything just play around with the test cases take a piece of paper and a pen play around with the test cases think of at least the brute force approach and then try to optimize it don't just sit there and jump on the solution keep yourself busy thinking for the solution you need to struggle with the problem only when you do that you'll get that intuitive thinking you'll get that logical thinking without that you'll not be able to build any logic so take yourself give yourself an hour or two hour max and think of everything that you can play around with the test cases think of brute force approach think of optimizing it think of all the techniques that you can apply and still if you're not able to solve the problem then what do you do are you going to look at the solution no now you're going to take hints step by step you're going to take hints so even in lead code you have a hint section where you can take hint 1 hint 2 hint 3 but let me tell you a great technique for taking hints and this is something that nobody will tell you and i've used this myself this is something that will help you a lot in in basically building the logic for problems right so you want to take hint you don't want to look at the solution you don't want to be basically spoon fed the solution so what do you do just copy the title of the lead code problem give it to chat gpt and give it a prompt that i'm solving this problem i'm stuck give me a bare minimum hint in one line don't explain don't over explain give me a bare minimum hint in one line on helping me solve the problem and then it will give you a hint basically sometimes it over explains so you have to be you have to be strict with it you have to say he strictly just give me a one line bare minimum hint and then it will give you a hint and then you can use that hint to feed your problem solving okay you can feed that hint into your logic and then again try to solve that problem but let's say even the hints are not helping you still don't jump at the solution go to the discuss section of lead code there you will see a lot of articles that people have written on how to solve the problem read the title of the article open the article and try to have an overview just from an overview don't read it end to end just have an overview and understand it and then go back to solving the problem even at the worst case if you're not able to understand anything because let's say there's a new algorithm or there's a new technique let's say there were sliding windows involved and you don't know what sliding windows is so this is what you need to do go on youtube or go on medium or any other article like geeks or geeks learn about the algorithm learn what sliding window is learn how it works and then go back to the problem and then solve it okay but at the very least always and i repeat always write the code yourself you must always write the code yourself i see a lot of people looking at the solution looking at the code and just copying the code and memorizing the code if you do that then you'll always have to memorize the code you don't need to memorize the code you need to just make sure that you understand the logic and then code it yourself okay the more you struggle the more you do it yourself the more you'll be able to 
understand the logic and understand the pattern that is behind the problem. I have talked to a lot of people. I've talked to grandmasters on code forces. I've talked to people who have cracked multiple companies and who are masters of DSA. And all of them have this thing is that they don't look at the solution. They try to do the problem themselves with taking bare minimum hint. This is something that is extremely important. If you don't have time, you can take one or two hours max. But if you have time, you're a college student, you can take one day, two day, three day, as long as you need, just think about the problem. The more you sit with the problem, the better you'll understand the pattern and the logic behind it. You know, this is a lot of, this is what a lot of people use during long challenges. So we had coach of long challenges where for 10, 15 days, you were given a set of problems with no access to the solution and you had to solve it. So people used to sit for two day, three day, four day and think about the problem, think about the algorithm and then they were able to solve it. So that is how people developed their problem solving. That is how people developed their logical thinking in their mind, right? This is how you build logic. You have to struggle with the problem. You have to give yourself time. You have to think, think and think. Okay. Your brain is just like any other muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it will get. Okay. The less you want to work, the lesser your logical building is going to be. You have to work. You have to think hard. Okay. But if you're short on time, don't give yourself days because of course you have placements coming up maybe in six months, maybe in one year, maybe next year. So, but at least give yourself one to two hours. Okay. Give yourself one to two hours and then only start taking hints and go forward from there. All right. This is something that is extremely important and that you must do. Now, one more trick for solidifying the concept I'm going to give you. And this trick was told to me by a grandmaster on code forces. When I had a podcast with him, he told me that he always used to do this after solving a problem. Whenever you solve a problem, let's say that you had difficulty in solving the problem. You took hints or you understood something to solve it. And then you were able to solve it. This is what you need to do. Close your laptop, close your notebook, like just shut everything off, close your eyes, sit in silence for two minutes and just try to revise everything in your mind. Whatever you did, how you optimized it, whatever you did, just recall everything in your mind after closing your eyes for a couple of minutes, three minutes, four minutes. Just think about it in your mind, recall it. And basically that will help you in solidifying the concept in your mind, right? And after that, you can just speak out loud about the problem, whatever the problem you solve, just speak out loud about it to a couple of minutes, explain it to yourself. Okay. First do that in your mind and then do that out loud. Okay. So do this for five minutes, give just five minutes for every problem that you're not able to do. And trust me, it will solidify the concepts in your mind so well that you will never forget the pattern behind it. You'll never forget the logic behind it. And whenever a similar problems comes or a new problem comes, you will be able to solve it. So from now on, whenever you're doing problem solving, whenever you're practicing, make sure that you incorporate these techniques in your practice. And trust me, you'll be able to master the art of problem solving. Now, soon enough, I'll be making a video about how to revise DSA, about how to revise the concepts, how to make notes in DSA so that you never forget anything that you learn in DSA. I'll tell you how to remember everything forever. So that video will be coming soon on the channel. Make sure that you stay tuned for that and make sure that you subscribe and I'll be making a lot more content on DSA. So yeah, stay tuned.